Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with the Portland Timbers career mode series. I almost slipped up and said uh, some something different for a different series, but that's all right. Uh, we are back with the Portland Timbers series. Um, if you guys missed the first episode, definitely go back and watch that. Basically what we're doing is we're going through every single MLS team and trying to win the league with them before FIFA 20. Um, again, let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys want to see longer episodes or these two game episodes that we usually do? Uh, but basically, if we did a different style, it would be maybe a little bit longer of an episode, but it would be like eight games, uh, only showing you like the best moments and then showing you the table. That way we get through them faster. Uh, but again, just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys prefer, and then we'll end up doing that style of video here in the future. But other than that, let's go ahead and hop back into this. We're just going to do a little bit of training here. Try to get a Boba C up. Polo's going up to 70 rated. Tuloma, uh, Tuloma is up to 66 rated. A Boba C is almost up to 68. And again, Jeff, maybe we probably could start doing a different style of C, uh, training for maybe a different keeper or a different position maybe. Uh, but we'll see what goes on there. Uh, we are top of the league currently. We did. If you guys did miss it, make sure you go back and watch it now. But we did win against uh, New York Red Bulls and um, LA Galaxy last episode. So uh, definitely a good episode to check out. Now we're going up against FC Dallas uh, before the international break. And then we get about a week and a half, two-week break before we have to play uh, Chicago Fire, I believe, in the next game. But we're going to go out with the same lineup. Everybody's doing well. Uh, we've only conceded one goal so far, so uh, no reason to freak out in terms of the squad. I think everybody's been playing well. Uh, no reason to really change anything too much. If anything, I might change the deep or the midfield up just a little bit. Maybe try to get a little bit more um, pace in that midfield. That way we can try to make some more chances. But other than that, I like the squad that we have. We're scoring goals, and that's really what just matters, you know? Again, we still haven't played at home because we are doing all of these away games because Providence Park was under construction last season when the schedule went out. So um, we are playing away from home quite a bit before we end up back at home. But that's how it is this season for Portland as well. So um, again, let me know in the comment section down below. One, if you're a Portland fan. Two, what do you guys think about this season? Do you think Portland's going to recover? I mean, they have, they're obviously going to play a lot of home games uh, later on in the season, which if they can go on a good streak, it could be absolutely insane. Uh, absolutely insane. I totally was not about to panic about conceding that goal at all. I have full confidence. Polo. Hit him with that pace. Oh, my the velocity in that shot the velocity in the pass from polo to valeri but then that first time shot the absolute beamer of a shot from valeri grabs us a goal against fc dallas absolutely beautiful easy as you like and we go one nil up what a shot dude the angle that this ball just went in at and he side footed it bro it barely missed the pole. That was a beautiful shot from Valeri. And we go 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes of the match. Villafania. Polo. Zach. Nice hold up play, bud. Obosi. Like I said, always has that pace. Oh, no, but the touch. The touch. A little bit less on that touch, and I could have chipped that over the keeper after I pulled him out. These days, haven't you? And he certainly showed that here. Let's go. On the pace. Put into the middle. Let's go. Diego Valeri with the power header in the box. 2-0 up against FC Dallas. You love to see it. I really am enjoying playing with this squad a, a lot. I really, really do enjoy playing with this team. Which can change a lot. Like, honestly, if you're set up, I mean, obviously, you have the money to upgrade your setup. It is very important to be eye level with your monitor. Um, so if you find yourself slouching, let's go on Boba C 3 0. Right before halftime, we get the 3 0 lead against FC Dallas. If you have the money to upgrade your setup, there's no reason you should be not eye level with your monitor. It changes everything. Uh, looking down on your monitor, it makes your body feel bad, but then just in general, um, you know, especially for like shooters and stuff, uh, but also in FIFA, it just helps being eye level with uh, what you're trying to play with, so 
Um, keep that in mind. Diego Valeri and Abobasi both grab themselves goals. We go into halftime, 3-0 up against a decent FC Dallas squad. Maybe not the best, but still a decent squad nonetheless. And putting up a very good performance is very, very important for us here um, before we go into the international break. Two goals, two games. Now four goals, three games. Absolute madman. Hello? Let's go, baby. Low driven into the corner. It was a little bit of a dribbler, but uh, that's all right. We get a 4-0 lead on FC Dallas in the 66th minute. So let's go ahead and make some subs. The ball did just kick off, but it'll go through on the next out. So let's bring in Paredes. Um, on the right, let's bring in Esprila. And again, I still want to try to get that goal for Valeri. And we're going into an international break, so I'm not too worried about stamina. Um, so I'm going to try to keep him in for a little bit longer. Ooh, nice save. Beautiful. Still on the attack, and they've got a corner. He's put in the corner. Disappointed. Oh no! What is that pass, bro? We end up conceding only second goal that we've conceded, I think, so far this career mode. Uh, but it is 4-1 still. Maybe sat back a little too much, but uh, genuinely thought you know we were going to be all right. But that was just a bad pass. Try to pass it out of the box. I shouldn't have. I should just clear it right there. Bad decision making, but that is okay. As long as we don't have an absolute meltdown, we should be all right. Still trying to find that fifth goal, though, because I do want that hat trick for Valeri. Oh. All right. End of the third game of the season. Uh, a 4-1 victory. Should have been 4-0, but we did end up giving up that goal. Polo with a 10.0 rating. Absolute madman. Grabbed himself a goal and I think an assist, maybe even two. Um in an absolute dominant performance. Couldn't get Valeri his hat trick, probably should have, but that's all right. What I do think I am gonna be doing with this series is doing two career modes at a time, an Eastern Conference team and a Western Conference team. That way we're doing two at the same time, getting good amount of content out there um, and really pushing our way through. So obviously we have this one going on and then the Atlanta one. Once the Atlanta one finishes, we'll replace it with an Eastern team and then we'll replace this one with a Western team once we finish with Portland. Um, hopefully we win the league both both seasons first try, uh, but we'll see what ends up happening. Oh no. The wrong player just keeps, in keeps getting the ball and I'm not entirely sure what to do with it once that happens. Mabiela, beautiful. Okay. We should have honestly conceded a couple times already. Corner swung in. Good nice. defensive clearance there. Get the ball out. Try to settle this. No 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 no. I pulled to try to get the tackle and widen that passing lane beautifully. Nice little third ball and Chicago goes up. Nicholas Gaetan, I think with his first goal. At least the first goal that I've seen. But looking a very classy side at the moment. Oh, so close. Any sign of losing their this ball is probably not going to go out again. I don't think we're going to get another sub the in. They're holding the ball incredibly the well right now. I don't even know if I'm going to get the ball back. They have the energy in the squad right now. Katai on the ball. Trying Getting that cross in. in the oh, Jeff. No, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Antonella gives up another goal. And it is 2-0 to Chicago. That's going to be the end of this game. We might be able to grab ourselves a consolidation goal, but that is going to be our first loss on the season. In a tough game, I think we just try to push it a little too hard. My passing is completely off this game. I don't know what it is. But, nonetheless. Oh, Adams. It's like you, you begin to wonder if it's you or the game. Like if your players just can't pass this game, like they're tired or just like freak random effects on the players or what. But we literally, we just couldn't pass this game. And we can see it again. 3-0. We conceded three goals in the last, I think, 20 minutes of this game. Gaetan, I think, grabbed himself another goal there. Nope, that was Martinez. 
well, the game petering out a little bit now. Three pretty We're solid goals for... from their players, and we end up losing the game. So, first over. loss with the Portland Timbers in this career mode. We had the highs and the lows of this career mode for sure. Uh, Valeri not able to grab himself a goal. Good game nonetheless. Super disappointing to concede there. Um, Christian Martinez, Gaetan, and one other player. Who else scored? I don't remember who else scored. But uh, solid game from them. Can't complain too much. We'll just have to readjust next game. We only had three shots, man. That it, whatever we were just trying to do, I think we tried too much on the counterattack. Not enough possession. Again, the passing just wasn't that great. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We are second in the league right now. Uh, hopefully can turn that around um, and take Minnesota back over. But we are still trying to progress with this team any way we can. If you guys do have any suggestions with the team, with the lineup, with the with the players, with the with the substitutions, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.